Hey friends, if you're looking for quick tips to help you jumpstart your week, you are in the right place. I'm Lori Palau, host of the popular weekly podcast, Organized Life, founder of Simply Be Organized. And every Monday, I am here to bring you a quick organizing tip in under 15 minutes. All you have to do is click the subscribe or follow button wherever you're listening, and let's get started. And welcome to today's episode of this Organized Life Podcast Tip of the Week. I am your host, Lori Palau. And um, if you're first joining us for the first time, welcome. So happy to have you here. We've recently got a bunch of new subscribers and followers, listeners. So we're so glad that you're here. Make sure that you connect up with us. Feel free to visit our website. We have tons of different resources, a lot of free offerings. We do have some paid offerings if that's what you're looking for, but we've got tons of free stuff there for you. So just visit simplybeatorganized.com and um, make sure to connect up with us and let us know how we can best serve you. But we're here for another quick tip of the week. And this one is actually five tips, but it's all about one simple thing. So I thought, it was a little anticlimactic for me to just do one at a time. So I figured I'll bundle these together. And since we're, a lot of us are flipping our clothes out seasonally, it would be a good time to talk about some simple closet hacks that won't break the bank. Because again, I know everything's expensive. You know, people are trying to not spend money that they don't have to have. Four out of the five of these things that I'm going to tell you right now don't cost a penny. Not one single penny. It's all stuff that you already have. One of them, small investment. If you want it, that's just an option. But the first four of the five don't cost a thing. So again, we're talking about easy, simple closet tips to just make your closet more organized. So here we go. Um, in no particular order. I wrote them down. Ready? Dry cleaning bags. Remove them. If Or any type of plastic shopping bag. So if you ever... You know, when you um, get stuff back from the dry cleaners, it has that plastic on it. Or sometimes if you buy something from a store, specifically like a boutique or a department store, and it's like a fancy, you know, like a fancy long dress or whatever, it has that plastic over it, remove that. Not only does the plastic hold chemicals and toxins and things that are not good, don't allow your clothes to breathe, but it just makes your closet more look messier and it also has oftentimes especially with the dry cleaners it'll have like those that paper thing that kind of goes around the hanger it's just it's just clunky and it takes up space and sometimes even if you are um if you ever like dry cleaned a sweater or something else they just stuff lots of stuff in there because they wanted to hold its form all of that stuff just adds volume and volume equals space that you want to have that real estate for your closet, not for all this extra filler. So just ditch that. That is tip number one for automatically making your closet look more organized. Okay. Tip number two, and I love this. This is something that um, the phrase that I'm going to use, I'm going to give a shout out to my friend, Stephanie from Get Organized with Stephanie. Um, she called it a hanger hangout, if I could speak, a hanger hangout. So this is something that I've been doing, but I just loved her cute little phrase. So when you take your clothes off of the hanger, you decide, okay, I'm going to pull something out. I'm going to wear it. What do you do with that hanger? Well, for some people, they just, and this is especially a lot of times with kids, they'll just pull the shirt or whatever it is off the hanger and the hanger will just kind of like flail around. Um, but a lot of times people will just take it off the hanger and leave the hanger right where it was. Eh, wrong answer. What we're going to do, people, is we are going to designate a hanger hangout, which is either at the front or the back of your closet room. Um, whatever's going to be most convenient for you. Um, I tend to do it in the front, but some people prefer to do it in the back. And so what that does is twofold. You don't have all of this filler empty hangers throughout but also when you're doing your laundry and you are going to hang up the new round of clothes, like after it's been washed and dried and whatever, and you go to hang it back up, instead of having to kind of like finger through your closet to get and find an empty hanger, all of your empty hangers are sitting nice, neat, and organized in one central spot. So it's like the hanger hangout. So whenever you take something off to wear it, you put the item on your 
person on you get dressed and then you take that hanger and you just put it right in the front. And so everything just kind of moves like an assembly line. That is tip number two. Tip number three and four are kind of go hand in hand and they're your tried and trues that I think most people know, which is to sort your clothes by category. So whatever, however your closet layout is, this is going to make sense for you, whatever your, the items that you own are. So if you want to have, um, you know, casual tech tops and then you have dressy shirts and then you've got button downs and then you've got whatever it is you want to have your all your different categories or maybe your categories are broader like these are my work clothes these are my play clothes um obviously if you don't flip your clothes out seasonally you would also then go depending on the size of your closet you would say here's my summer stuff here's my winter stuff so you would group it that way but assuming that you have just like an average size closet you just want to have sort of your, you know, blouses together, pullovers together, and then that allows you to easily shop your closet. And then to make it even a, like one notch, even more detail oriented, you're going to want to do it by color. Aesthetically, that just is more appealing to the eye. And it allows you to say, okay, I'm looking, I want to wear something blue today. You can just go to the section of your blue shirts or, you know, if, you have a lot of like black clothing. You're going to be like, wow, I have this huge section by doing and grouping it first by category and then by color within the category. It allows you to shop your closet way more easily. And so it also will point out to you where you may have gaps in your wardrobe. And I've talked about that before. So you'll be like, wow, I really don't have a lot of color or I would like a, to, you know, add some pink or orange or whatever color, um, or I don't need another black fill in the blank because I've got 27 black shirts. So all of that, it just kind of tells you where you already are. So those four tips do not require you to spend a dime. It's all just stuff that you have and just organizing that, making it simple. The last one is again, and this is an inexpensive expense if you want to, it, inexpensive um, investment if you want to do it, which is to streamline all of your hangers. If once you have all of your hangers laying at the same level or, you know, of the same variety, they are all your clothes hang at the same level. You will be amazed sometimes that the neck on the hanger is longer. Um, other times it um, things are wider or narrower. And so if you have done all of the other things and you say, I still feel like my closet's disorganized. I always advise people to go ahead and invest in some inexpensive streamlined hangers. Again, I'm a big fan of those thin velvety hangers or then now they even have them in plastic or acrylic um, just because you can get more volume in a wood hanger is great. I love them, but they take up a lot of space. Don't like plastic hangers, not a fan um, but wood hangers, again, beautiful. And if you have a big closet and space is not an issue and you want to invest in some wood hangers, go for it. Um, but otherwise you could buy like a pack of 50 of those streamlined hangers on Amazon for like 25 bucks. So you're not talking about a large investment. So those are five hacks or tips to help you easy, easily organize your closet for the season. So I hope you guys found this one useful. And we also have a closet checklist. Um, I know last week we were talking about checklists. Um, if you head on over to our website, simplybeorganized.com, you'll see there's a closet checklist there too. It asks lots of questions about like your habits. Do I like to hang? Do I like to fold? All kinds of fun things. So again, totally free. Go in there, hop in and grab that. And um, hope you're having a really great spring so far and um i'll see you next week for another episode of this organized life until then glory flower peace out thanks for tuning in if you like this episode please spread the love and share it with your friends and if this is your first time joining us make sure to click the subscribe button wherever you are listening so you never miss an episode and while you're there please leave us a review so other people know that our show is worth the listen 
You can also find us on YouTube and Instagram at This Organized Life Podcast. And if you'd like to connect with us, you can head on over to our website at simply the letter B, like boy, organized.com, which is filled with tons of resources, including free downloads, checklists, links to our amazing organizing partners, and all of our digital offerings. I'll see you next week for another episode of This Organized Life.